express this in the form. So you see this B is attached to this, right? As you see here. So this C here, I have a reposition here, as you can see. So after you doing the work, make sure you leave your answer in this form. A, B, C are constants, they are numbers. And state the maximum value, means a maximum graph, in case you draw it. You are drawing here. Of the function this. Good. Now what do we do here? We will start. So I will first make the coefficient of this. But let me write it first, that's the first thing to do. So express this, right? S squared. So I can let y be equal to the function. That's what I've been given, right? You wish to see this square on the left, this in the middle, then this one here, right? It doesn't matter. Because you know it's a s squared plus b s plus c. But look at it. It's like they turn it, right? So you can also turn it back. Good. Now what is going on here? Y equals minus 4 s squared. You know why I said minus one square? I never brought this equal to sign up. I'm just repositioning. I'm not moving. Go. Minus 2x plus 5. That's positive. So that is what you are used to, right? Go. My coefficient of this is going to be negative here. So the first thing, I will make the coefficient of s square 1, right? Okay. So make coefficient of s square 1. Make coefficient of x squared, 1, right, factor out 2, factor out 4, right, good, so what is going on now, the factor that minus 4, right, or the minus 4, so here, minus 4 out, so even if I give a minus 4, I'll get a square, do you see that? When you put it back, you get a question again. How much you write? If this is a factor, it will go here. That will be what? 2 over what? 4. But there's a minus here already. Do you, do, you, do you remember? Here. You put them together, right? Go here. X. And here. So you see, that is minus 2 over. Let, let me write it well. This way. Minus 2x over minus 4. This way, it's okay. Okay? Plus, that is 5 over minus 4. Look at it again. Let's go. I'm trying to make the coefficient of this s square 1. So I factored out minus 4 out. It means when you have something like this, can you see me? Good. So when you have this, we are trying to factor out minus 4. That will give me positive 1 over 2x. This is what is going on. Good. If you multiply 2 by 4, you still get a question back again. That makes you right. So that is it. So you make the coefficient of s squared 1 by factoring out the 4. That is what I've done here. Now we are still there. I have s squared. This will cancel this. I will get positive 1 over 2x. I hope you are getting it. T. 1, 2. You see that? Plus against a minus will be minus. So that will be minus what? 5 over 4. Okay. So this question is how they look like. Now I'm free. So when you see them like this, don't panic. Just a component, okay? And try to factor out the negative, right? Because it's supposed to be 1. They never said make the coefficient of s square negative 1. No, it should be 1. So I'm going to make it 1 by factoring out minus what? 4. Good. That is what we are seeing here. Now, the next thing to do I will take half of the coefficient of what? x. Right? That's the next point. Take half of coefficient of x. Taking half is just multiplying half by that. Are you okay? You are going to get 1 over 4 of x. I'm taking it. So how do you take half? Just multiply that coefficient by half. That's all. And that is your half. Now it follows that add the square. Add the square. 
add and subtract the squares, right? Let's qualify it. Add and subtract, right? Add and subtract the squares of the coefficient. Add and subtract the squares yeah, of the half of the coefficient of x. Good. We are writing all this for squeezy reasons so I can remember when you're doing the If not, I just put in putting all these words when we are computing. Good. So from here, let's go. I'm going to add what I said and subtract. Now that is my s squared. I'm going to add that is 1 over 4x. So you see, we replace this middle term. And the normal quadratic that we do, right? Good squared. You are supposed to subtract. The square of that, as we have indicated here, add and subtract the squares of the half of the quadrant of x. So this is the half of the quadrant of x. I have to add. When I finish, I have to subtract the square of the half of the same quadrant of x. I've done that, and I add my next time five over four. Good. Now, by way of grouping. Minus 4 here. Now, uh, this and this, I can put them together by doing this. Good. Method of computing squares, right? So I put them together. Now, look at this one here. Uh, when I take the half of that, this x does not appear. Oh, you are just taking the half of it. The coefficients that I'm using, right? You see that it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear, please. We are rather taking. Okay, that's it, right? We are taking the half of this coefficient. The point of this x is this. We are not taking the half of everything. No. We are taking the half of the coefficient of x. So the x is not supposed to appear. Please take note. Good. That's what you see here, right? So I put this and this together. Now, here. That will be 1 over. 1 squared is 1. 4 squared is 16. Minus 5 over 4. This is very easy. Now let's continue from. So. That is what we are getting here, right? So what do I have to do in here? I have to multiply true by what? Minus 4. Take notes, not positive 4, but rather minus what? 4. So that is what we are seeing here by minus 4. Good. So y equals minus 4, x plus 1 over 4, all squared. Right? Good. So this 4 will go here as 4. Now take notes. Minus against a minus will give me positive 21 over 4. Please, we have to be very careful with your negatives, right? Because it can contaminate the whole thing. So, I spread this in this form. It is supposed to be outside here. You can see they have done relocation. They have repositioned this. So, this is 21 over 4 minus what I see here. Good. I have been able to express my work in that form as required. Can you see? Good. So that is what you see here. They didn't ask me where it occurs. I'll have equated this to zero and so on, right? So where A is 21 over 4. A was free, attached to nothing. B was closely attached to the squares here, right? So where is attached here? That's 4. So remember, it's minus B equals minus 4. That's what you see. Divide through by minus 1. Divide through by minus 1. You are going to get what? B equals what? 4. And what is C? C is inside here. If you compare. Good. So C will give you 1 over 4. So these are the values to be determined. This thing looks right. Good. 